Okay, so I feel like I have to do two separate reviews of this. Nerd Theory. Okay, what's going on everybody? Brian here with Nerd Theory, going to review Death Note that came on Netflix today. I just got done watching it. I've taken a few minutes to formulate my thoughts, so here it goes. So I'm going to try to do this two ways. One way is going to be the professional way, the way that a reviewer should probably look at things more objectively than anything else. Then there's going to be another review with the nerdy side of me and with Death Note. So I'm going to do my best to try to keep them separate, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. So here we go. In case anybody doesn't already know, Death Note about a guy who gets in the possession of a notebook, the Death Note. And in, within the Death Note, if you write someone's name down and how they die, it actually happens in reality. The main character's name is Light. He gets his hand on this Death Note book with his trusty sidekick. I'm not going to say sidekick. There's a, uh, a death god that kind of lingers around him, uh, kind of that... Someone who just eggs him on. His name's Ryuk. He's actually played by Willem Dafoe. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so Light is a high schooler who's not extremely popular. He's very he's very smart. And when he gets his hand on the Death Note, he kind of justifies using it um, against uh, bad people, mob guys. Um, anybody who's been in the system that has clearly done bad things, he writes the name down and then they die, however, however he writes it down. And so and this gets the attention of the FBI. So law enforcement and FBI start getting in on this. Why are all these guys dying? And they bring in the special investigator named L. You don't know his, uh, his real name, but he's a very unique uh, individual in the way, like his quirks, the way he sits, his constant eating a candy, not sleeping. But he's very, very intelligent. That's why they kind of keep him on. So over time with this movie, that's about an hour and 40 minutes, L starts figuring out that Light is the one behind everything, but he can't prove it. There's also the girlfriend named Mia who is actually a part of this. He, she actually comes in very, very early uh, in the movie, and they're kind of more in cahoots than anything. Even though it's Light's notebook and he's doing the writing, she kind of wants her hand in it too. Uh, which actually is part of the driving force of this particular movie. So once again, I'm not going to. I'm going to try to be objective with this. So the way I'm going to look at this is, so, if you're someone who doesn't know anything about Death Note uh, or what it's about, where it comes from, it was actually it's actually a um, manga that was a sh in Shonen Jump over in Japan. It became an anime. It lasted like 50 some odd episodes, I believe, maybe more than that. And it became this phenomenon within the anime uh, watchers community. Well, of course, this gets announced and everybody, you know, especially with the whole Ghost in the Shell thing, everybody's just kind of like, Ugh. So if you never, if you, if you don't know anything about Death Note, it's, the movie itself for you will probably be okay. There's nothing overly special about it. There's some cool death scenes involving when, you know, he writes the names in the Death, in the, uh, death Note and... It tells them how, and then it actually happens. Those events are actually cool. The performances um, are kind of kind of teetering. William Defoe is Ryuk, the Death God. Magnificent casting. And the gentleman who plays uh, L in this uh, series, the the kind of lead detective of what's going on in the sh in the movie, is played by Lakeith uh, Stanfield. He's actually phenomenal. You would probably know him from Atlanta, the Sean FX, and Get Out. Uh, the horror movie that came out that was directed by Jordan Peele. Everybody else is, they're fine. I don't, I didn't have a problem with the, j the young man who played Light. I didn't have a problem with the girl who played Mia. Um, every, the performances were fine overall. Even maybe at the beginning, it was a little strange. Um, some of the dialogue was kind of delivered a little too dramatically uh, for my personal taste. I will have to say there's, I guess maybe the production uh, had like way too much neon in their back room or something like that, because this uh, movie seemed like there was just a lot of neon going along, <laughs> going around all over the place. I also, the music in this was very strange in that it, it, they took a synthetic pop uh, and they were, and they were doing it with older songs um, and they were just placed very strangely uh, within the movie. Now, this is one of the things that kind of bothered me about it, and this is kind of going into being a fan of the original uh, anime at the very least, is that there was no tension to this movie at all. Things were progressing within the movie, but you weren't really sure why. Things were just happening, and you didn't find out that until way later on in the movie, like actually towards the very end, and it would just seem like a strange setup. It There was no tension 
being created. There was just confusion, and that's where the movie really lost. The premise of the movie itself is pretty strange if you've never heard of Death Note anyway, so it kind of has that going against it. Overall, as a normal critic, I would have to say that this movie is just kind of meh. I mean, there's nothing really great about it. There's some a couple of really good scenes uh, with the movie itself uh that kind of got me kind of woke me up a little bit too and i'm like okay that was actually acted very well and was set up very well but overall the thing everything just kind of fell apart towards the end and for that it's okay now this is the part where i start getting nerdy for the life of me i do not understand why this this intellectual property with netflix was not made into some sort of series they put too, way too much into it in such a short amount of time. The movie itself is only hour 40 minutes, and you're talking about a series that spanned multiple volumes and, a, and an anime that spanned multiple episodes. They could not conceivably get everything that, made de that makes Death Note so great into one movie, and for that, shame on you. And when I say shame on you, I mean shame on Netflix. A series would have drawn this out so much and created so much tension between the characters of Light and L, like it did in the original source. One of the things that make th that made this anime uh, so great originally, even the manga, was the dynamic between L and Light, this being that they knew they know of one another and they knew what each other was capable of and when one thought they had the upper hand the other one would come by and just un undercut him somehow and that created the tension within the series up until the very end and the thing that's so frustrating about this movie for me was that they it had a it had a lot going for it there were some good ideas i liked the way they handled the l character L being this very, you know, kind of quirky character. Right? Not, I'm not going to say quirky. He has his quirks, rather. The actor did did his own interpretation of it, and it worked well with the tone of the movie. And there, there was actually very good dramatic moments in this movie. I mean, I don't want to sell it short because it did have good things about it. It just, it was kind of few and far between in the hour and 40 minutes if you could stay that long and you and you could figure out what was going on. Also, one of the things that kind of bothered me, I, I shouldn't say bothered, it's, it's the way the movie progressed in, in, in comparison to the source material. Light started doing these things for a good reason, but throughout the original series uh, in Japan, he started turning into, into a, a, a monster, is really what it comes down to, socio uh, psychopathic uh, killer out just for himself in the end. By the end of this particular uh, film on Netflix, it, they, they, they're they they still kind of harping on that, that he's the good guy, that he just got caught up in it all and he was doing it for the best intentions and they keep that going on until the end. Now that might change with other movies that may or may not come out, but for this one, I really wanted to see a descent into more madness than anything else. If anything, the Mia character went into more madness than Light did. To be fair, there is, uh, they did leave it open for another movie if they want, if Netflix wanted to do it. But at this rate, from other things that I've read, I'm not sure if they're going to. But it all depends on how many people watch it. And if enough people watch it, then they can continue it. I kind of hope they do because I think, once again, there was a lot of good ideas going into this American adaptation. Um, but they just, not everything panned out the way I think it really should have. It was just very, it was extremely dark. It was extremely neon for whatever reason. Just because you can do something because you're kind of given a sort of clean slate, not completely, a sort of clean slate to make it your own, doesn't mean necessarily that you should. I don't understand the need for the darkness. I didn't understand the need for all the profanity. I didn't understand the need for the one. There's one scene in there where they're in this kind of club and there's just there's dead bodies around, which was fine. That's kind of part of what Death Note is. But, you know, there was a lot of, there was topless people, you know, women in there. It's like, I, it's not, it wasn't necessary. So to wrap things up, the reviewer in me who's looking at this from, you know, trying to, or trying to look at this through a fresh set of eyes, the movie itself is just okay. As the fan of the original Death Note series, no, I'm sorry, just... No, and once again, it's frustrating. This movie frustrated me more than anything. It had its entertaining moments. It had some good moments. But once again, it, it's, it was too short. There's too much content to go over uh, within, that, within the original series for an hour and 40 minutes. But 
That's just my opinion. Doesn't mean squad. What did you think of Death Note on Netflix? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help Nerd Theory out and keep on being entertained as long as it's legal. Ha <laughs>